Hey guys, how's it going? I'm going to show you how to bore a cylinder at home. Okay. Now this is a 12 horsepower Briggs and Stratton here. Okay. Now the bore is a three and seven sixteenth bore. I'm going to hone this to ten thousandths over. Okay, because I got a ten thousandths over piston. Because the cylinder's kind of rusty in there. Okay. All right. Place it in here like this. Now I've already took a few thousandths out of it. I may or may not bore the whole thing on uh, screen, but here's the. That's for the bigger cylinder bores. Lyle 1500. Not much machine shots around anymore, so. I'm going to give it a shot myself. I do have a... I did find a Briggs & Stratton genuine piston. You probably read that. 10 over. Okay. Now this is a 3 and 7 16 bore, which is 3 inch and 437 thousandths. So we want to go 3 inch 447 thousandths. Okay? Alright, we got our drill. It's hooked up. Alright. A little more drag. Um, like this, what you want to do if you have a taper in your cylinder here, you want to work toward the bottom a little bit to try to take it out. Oh, yeah, One more lube in there, a little WD 40. If you want to lubricate them stones. You want to do if you can see what's going on inside there. You want to you want the stones to protrude slightly. Let's see if I can there we go. Drill. Okay. About a quarter to half inch uh, down here. Do you want a quarter and half inch above there? You don't want them going all the way up because you can chip your stones. Okay. Not taking as much as you think. Yep. for you. It's kind of tough. Oh, wonderful. Some cheap ass can. <laughs> Poked a hole in my friggin uh, WD-40 can. Ain't that something? Garbage. Oh well. Hey, if you didn't see it on camera, hey, you wouldn't believe it. Yep. 
Didn't happen on camera, you wouldn't believe it. Wipe this bore out. We'll check and see what happened. See how much we took out. It's like it's uh, turning out pretty good. Got a funny story about that with the spray can. I remember when I was a machinist uh, years ago. A can of uh, bluing fell on the floor, and uh, it was friggin' hilarious. It was spinning around in circles. There's uh, bluing going everywhere. <laughs> okay. See in there? Yeah, see that? It's pretty rusty. It's starting to it's turning out pretty good. Um, I said I believe this might this might clean up with ten. Okay. I'm gonna try to measure it here a little bit. All right. Got these uh, telescopic gauges. down in there like this. Um, I'm going to take another reading. I, I'm thinking. And again, we check it a couple times. Make sure. Okay. Looks like we're at Three inch four forty two. We're at. Yeah. So we got a little ways to go. Check up here a little bit too. Yeah, I got three. That's actually straightening out. This was tape. This was tapered a good bit. That's why when you hone, you want to kind of start down below first and uh, go from there. Let me see. Check one more time down here. Okay. Check the bottom. You want to check in three places on that. Yeah, 42 all the way down to the bottom, 3 inch 442, um, well let's open it up, you get some, use my air tool oil in, that'll work. Okay, pop the ground in there, tighten this dial up. Yeah, bore straight now. I'm only about one five because I was about four or five out of uh, round on this. Yep, should be good enough.
I say, I may not do all this on camera because this is going to take a while. See what that did? I'd like to check it. Yep. Measure twice, cut once. Sometimes I like to measure three times and cut once. It's easier to take the material off than it is to put it put it on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you know what? That looking that's coming along pretty good. Yep. Okay. What can you do here? <laughs> that can, I don't know what the heck happened. Making cans so cheap now. Oh yeah. Let me see where we at. We may have taken two thousand sided out on uh, the last time I put it in there. Wish I had those uh, expensive board gauge, but being able to do it all the time. Again. Yeah, being able to do it all the time. They've since buying expensive tools. There we go. All right. It's hard to get a good feel down in there. Yeah. We're, we took one. One thaw out. Okay. Double check it again, make sure we're getting the right. Here it's saying 44. So that means we have, let's see, got about three thou to go. Sneak up on it, that's all. It's like when an old timer I used to know say, shame he passed away. Real good body guy. It's kind of legendary. Used to say, sneak up on her. Doing body work, sneak up on that. All the old cars, body work, stuff from the 50s and stuff like that, 60s. Remember him telling me about when he went to see the Wizard of Oz at the theater. <laughs> yeah. Spending time down here a little bit to make sure the bore is going to stay straight. And I'm picky, I like my stuff to be perfect, but.
I said, it's going to be a lot of work. Or what it looks like I'm getting there. Oh, yeah, pretty nice. Get a uh, flashlight if I can find somewhere. Nope, don't know where it is. Seeing her house cleaning up. What up the top there? Got that rust mark out of there. You seen up in there? I'm getting there. Just got to keep working at it. Sneak up on her. Videos get kind of long. I'll try to give you an update video here in a bit and uh, try to get this thing finished forward. But uh, yeah, just show you that. It's gonna just take your time when you're doing it, it's gonna take a while. So take a little bit, measure it. Yep. Okay, guys, the next time, keep feeling the heat.